Well, he said, Scott, in midweek that after the win in Madrid, we are not used to doing these things. I think he's certainly used to doing this thing, yeah. which is winning a trophy at Wembley. He's addicted to it, Martin. It's a way of life for him. Mentality is absolutely spot on every single time. His record in finals is impeccable. Well, they're almost invincible in the domestic knockout competitions. They've retained the community shield already this season. And now, as the executives of the Carabao organization wait to make the presentation, they've hung on. And it was a bit of a hang on in the end. Uh, we'll remember that uh, Claudio Bravo touch onto the post. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, one that's had a bit of stick in the past. That was a, a vital moment. That went City's way. Otherwise, we'd be watching extra time now. Well, they're not going to win a Premier League title this season, but they're still winning trophies, and the momentum is still there. Well, it's the seventh League Cup triumph for the club, which is only one behind Liverpool's all-time record. You look at Phil Foden there following David Silva on to get his medal. Nick Richard just mentioned he's a Manchester City fan. Having that man in front of him, what a special player. Well, they certainly find their energy in the Carabao Cup, Manchester City. Remember, this is the fifth triumph in the last seven years. Just to emphasise that it is the third in a row. Liverpool did it four times in a row in the early to mid-1980s. But on the diamond anniversary of the competition, the Carabao Cup, the Carabao Cup goes again to Manchester City. Kings in this competition yet again. Well, it was almost like they couldn't make the mind up. Aguero, does he lift it? Fernandino, does he lift it? In the end, it's silver for the three of them. With their fifth medals in their hands. Incredible. Well, Fernandinho will be back to have another crack at it next year. We think Sergio Aguero will be. But David Silva will be going home. Going home with Manchester very much in his heart. And Wembley very much in his heart. They do take their prizes from this part of northwest London to their part of northwest England. No wonder their fans call Wembley Stadium Etihad South. And it is a squad effort. We've seen all the changes from Wednesday. And yes, it might have slightly weakened them. Villa pushed them all the way. But they know how to win. And with the uh, executives having to deal with this UEFA ban and the appeal that they vociferously will tell you, vehement they are, mm. that it's uh, not justice for them. And it was just about justice here, justice for the first half an hour when they got the two goals. And then after that, having presented Villa with one of the other ends, it was a real fight, it was a proper cup final, a proper cup tie in the second half. But City hung on, and now they cling on again to this particular trophy. They've won here, they've beaten Gallant Aston Villa by two goals to one.